Dinesh D'Souza has been found guilty of breaking <laughs> campaign finance laws. I'm sure Jenki will be very happy about that. Uh, but the first line of defense in saving his reputation after being found guilty is, of course, Fox News. Dinesh went on there with Megyn Kelly, who gave him, I don't think I've ever seen an interview like this after someone was found guilty of a crime. So we're going to watch some of the clips of this, and uh, we'll see what we think. Let's watch. And so now this case is resolved for today, and the Obama administration gets to call one of its top critics a convicted felon. Is this what they wanted all along? I mean, right. that, that, well, your defense in this case was not, I didn't do it. It was, you know, I didn't do it with any intent. I didn't do it with the right requisite state of mind. And it's selective prosecution by the government, who doesn't go after anybody for this kind of crime, except coincidentally, one of the, credit, one of the president's bi biggest critics. But I did uh, uh, con contest the issue of selective prosecution. Why was I being? So we made a motion before the judge on selective prosecution. But in a ruling last week, he said, no, you can't bring that into the case. So what really happened is I was going into a trial with, in a, fan, in a sense, no, no defense. defense. That was 40 seconds of video of them all agreeing that he committed the he crime, committed the but crime. not caring that he committed yeah. the crime. Yeah, I didn't have a defense. So you did it, right? Yeah. But did, I, didn't, I wasn't allowed to use my defense. Well, your defense is that you fucking did it? Is that your defense? Because you can't use that either. That's not going to get you for... So, yeah, it's like, again, um, it, 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 I have no problem with someone trying to get out of you know, uh, I've committed a crime, I'm gonna try to get off. I'm gonna, but it's the problem when you put yourself out there like Dinesh D'Souza, that you're, like, you're somehow, you're a better person and, and liberals are worse and they don't care about holiness and God and being a good person. And then, uh, by the way, Dinesh, you still fucking that woman outside your marriage? Because <laughs> uh, I think the line of this is that he says it's remarkable to see the campaign finance cases that do and do not get pressed, that, mm. you know, get uh, charges pressed. In them, I would be curious to know what the truth is with that. Whether it was selective. Yeah, whether it, it was, was selective. So it probably was. So we should have a problem with that, right? I don't think. Do, it, I, I guess. I don't know if it was selective it, because, again, I don't think anyone else. Uh, Somebody else is doing what he did because what he did wasn't that genius, really. Yeah. No, no, what simple. he did was so quick... obviously it got caught. That's well, why how do we tell people what he did? There's a million ways to, to uh, defund someone without breaking a law. He had, it's like you had to find a way to break the law, yeah. and he did. Right. Go ahead. So, so, he, what did he do? so he's claiming, though, that it's. Uh, you can explain it. Yeah, so basically he had already donated the $10,000 maximum, and he told his friends, hey, you go donate $10,000, and then I'll pay you back, trying to give twice the legal limit. Right. And he was caught for that. The reason that you don't see a lot of people getting, you know, getting charged and, and uh, convicted because of these things is because our campaign finance uh, system <laughs> in America is so weak, you don't have to break the law. You can play by the rules yeah. and rig the system Give in your it favor. to a PAC, have a PAC give it to him. What, what yeah. what, why is he doing? Yeah, because then he also thinks that uh, he's going to trick us into thinking he's Russell Simmons because he's, he's going... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I get that you're going I through... I like the sweater, yeah. He's going through Russell Simmons' pink closet. And then all of a sudden, it's yeah. cool to wear pink yeah. or something. But I do think he's doing an interesting, by saying it's remarkable what, what do and don't get pressed, I think it's just kind of mm. interesting because then give us some evidence. He should have said, actually, here, I brought evidence, and here's a hundred cases of this that didn't Correct. have yeah. pr charges. And if there was, but instead he's saying me. it's remarkable, so then everyone watching Fox News is like, my God, it's, it's true. Yeah. But he's doing what, what politicians do all the time. You know, like you always talk about with Mike Rogers and the intelligence. Mm -hmm. He always talks about intelligence, but never says what evidence yes. he has. And that's what he's doing here. So if... If it's remarkable, then you have to tell us what the evidence is, and then maybe I'd be like, wow, it's really screwed up what the government's doing, yeah. but until there's evidence of it, and then we can, track the, we can track them down then eventually too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and look, like I said, I think that it probably is a case of selective uh, prosecution, but I have the perfect defense against selective prosecution, stop breaking the fucking law. That uh, seems like an easy way to get around it. You, you, um, but, you know, but, even, more but even that being said, are you you still would have some problem with selective prosecution. You know who right? else complains yeah, about? I'd track them all down. Hey, Dinesh. Yeah. Don't, don't not just just Dinesh D'Souza. Dinesh, you know who else complains about selective enforcement? Uh, guys arrested for crack. Yeah, the, exactly. Would, that would be selective enforcement because we enforce the crack laws way more than we enforce the cocaine laws, which. Uh, are mostly white people doing so that mm -hmm. those are the, all also maybe black guys in New York City stop and frisk five million of them frisked the way maybe, the death penalty is passed maybe out maybe death penalty maybe if you look at the community yeah look at the again he's the one who's being pro, uh, selective enforcement most uh, look at the disparity in black white and Hispanics inside prisons right yeah. so that would be select but no the 
selective enforcement is when they go after a guy who's super rich. He's right. so rich, it goes beyond what the law allows. He's yes. that rich. But it wasn't charge. just you that thought this might be selective prosecution. Just so our viewers know, Alan Dershowitz, who's a liberal Democrat, thought this might be selective. Ted Cruz, he, he united Alan Dershowitz and Ted Cruz. Four U.S. senators wrote a letter demanding to know what the basis for bringing this particular charge against you was, since the Washington Times points out in an editorial yesterday that Mr. Obama's 2008 presidential campaign was itself fined almost four hundred thousand dollars no one was threatened with prison is this about Dinesh D'Souza or is this about upholding campaign finance laws well you know when I look around the country it's remarkable to see the cases that do and don't get pressed okay, yeah, so which, I, ones? I was... <laughs> which ones don't get pressed yeah I looked I didn't have a pen on me yeah you just listed a whole bunch of people who say that he broke the law he broke the, the law. law yeah okay yes. look if they're if they're not investigating enough cases we obviously at the Young Turks take campaign finance very seriously. Investigate all of them. You know, hire more people to investigate them. Do some job creation. But that doesn't get you off the hook. And just because you criticized Obama in a book and a movie doesn't mean that then any time they target you, you get a pass. If I say that <laughs> yes. Chase's, you know, overdraft fees are too high and then I rob a Chase bank, I don't get to say you're selectively enforcing okay. bank robbery laws. That's not how the country works. Right. Now, so when I get arrested by cops, I can't just go, hey, it's just because I did that rant with cops. <laughs> I don't like cops. Everything. Yeah, Everybody Jim, knows I hate cops, okay? Yeah, so you can't charge me. But Jimmy, you did steal that car. Yes, I stole the car. But look at all the cars that get stolen nobody gets prosecuted for. I feel like for. when you're going to get arrested, Which it's going to be for a good reason. Yeah. It's going to be completely legitimate. I've been arrested for bullshit reasons.